What's going on YouTube, Chamber Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review and today we'll be taking a look at a real classic. Aren't I just a funny little comedian? If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Today we're taking a look at Transformers Classics Megatron. This figure came out in 2006 and would mark as the last mainline release of a, a, a Megatron that would turn into a gun. He would be repainted into a Takara Tomy version, uh, which would be uh, done in the traditional black and silver Megatron colors. And then later on, he would be repainted as part of a two pack with Classics Optimus Prime, but this time he'd be repainted into red and black. As you can see, this is the traditional standard release that came out in 2006. And this is an awesome figure. I'll go over why, but uh, unfortunately, I do not have the packaging, but I do have his uh, instructions. They're still um, sealed in their little packet. Um, I did buy this figure used, but I don't really care. I'm just happy to have this thing. As you can see here, here he is in his gun mode, and the gun mode colors are absolutely bizarre, and I love it. Going over the gun mode itself, obviously, it's just about what you see here. A lot of nice paint applications as well as molded in detail. You can see got some gold highlights throughout, uh, purple Decepticon insignia there on the scope, which actually does work. Uh, you can see at the uh, front of the scope here, we got some crosshairs, which allow you to see through it. Let the slaughter begin! Uh, the dial on top doesn't work or do anything, but rest of the gun mode you can see this whole panel here is uh painted green plastic and uh yeah it looked it looks really really good got some purple here at the front some more gold highlights coming around to the front of the uh the gun got some more uh gold highlights just overall a very nice looking gun um given the fact that this is a mainline release um i have fairly large hands and it fits uh very comfortably into my hands i, I do like how this thing fits uh, and the trigger does work as well, which is also a really cool feature. And every time you pull it, it clicks. So this is just a very fun little gun. And it, I mean, it holds together pretty well um, as well. It, it doesn't really feel like it's going to come undone or anything. Just a really solid, solid piece. You can sit here and... Now let's take a look at the transformation and then the robot mode. And the transformation for this figure is so much fun to go through it's a little bit complex but once you learn where everything goes oh my gosh it is so much fun to go through so transformation what you're going to want to do is start off with is you're going to want to take these panels untab them and you can see just about what we're looking at for the transformation right here first step but untab these panels here from the scope and everything Move these down. I'm going to angle my camera up so you all can see what I'm doing. Then we're going to take the scope here at the back, pull it up some, take the leg, or take the handle and unpeg it from the trigger guard here. The kneecap of the leg will sit in a little notch in the trigger guard. Make sure you all can see that. Um, so there is a little notch in there made for the um, leg. Then you're going to take the upper body here, pull it up, spin it around, and then close it in on top and then you can take the arm here fold it down and you can take this arm plug it into place and then you can take this assembly right back here spin it all around and then there is a peg peg hole right here and a giant peg right here that all this will plug into and just move those out the way then we can take the legs and straighten them out like so take the shins fold them up and then come to the bottom and release the toes and heels just like so just like that take the arms and just straighten them out just like so uh, you can take this section here push it up to reveal the fist take the fusion cannon push it into place and it'll help push the fist out so you can get it then for this arm you can go ahead open this panel up pull the fist out close that up then straighten out the arm Make sure these are kind of angled however you want. Then open up the chest here, fold it down, and then pull out the robot mode head. And here we have Classics Megatron in his robot mode. And Megatron in his robot mode looks really, really good. And starting off here with the head, because the head looks fantastic. This evil Megatron head sculpt looks really really good with this almost frown 
on his face, a sinister looking frown with these lime green eyes. It's just really cool. And you got some paint, some black paint on the face as well with that silver. It just complements itself really, really well. Just a really sinister and evil looking face. And then the rest of the figure too is molded and detailed really nice. You got the Decepticon symbol, proud smack dab in the middle of his chest. You can see the gold accents on the shins and stuff. And the mechanical detail they've put in here at the lower uh, lower part of the leg. You can see the fusion cannon that was the scope and everything. Just a really cool looking robot mode. Unfortunately, um, given how the gun mode transforms, you are left with these ginormous wings uh, left off the back. But I mean, they do articulate uh, to a certain degree. So for me, it's not really an issue. Uh, what is an issue for me is on my copy, this back heel pushes up more than what it should so it leaves my figure with stability issues and then posing is kind of where you know that becomes an issue but let's go ahead and get in so with the posability on this figure it's actually got a lot of good range but it's pretty much all ratchet joints starting off here at the head the head is on a ball joint so we can look up down kind of get a tilt side to side it can look 360 um again ball joint Arms are on ratchets. You get full 360 motion out of that. Um, you do get a bicep swivel. You do get um, over 90 degree elbow bend on both arms. Uh, no waist articulation to, uh, to speak of. And then the legs can kick forward. They can kick back. Outwards movement. You do have a knee swivel, you do have a 90 degree knee bend, and no ankle articulation. So, I mean, this figure has a lot of good posing. Obviously, it doesn't live up to today's standards, but um, definitely is a very posable figure. And once you get him into a pose, he's not really going to go anywhere. The pose isn't going to just fall apart. Uh, all the ratchets on this figure hold together really, really well. But... <clears throat> anyway, that's it for posability. Again, doesn't really live up to today's standards, but this was released in 2006, so that's pretty much it for this video review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed filming this video. Definitely a cool figure. If you can get your hands on one of these things, please do. Please just do it. It's worth it. Um, yeah. Despite it having its odd color scheme, and I don't care which version you get, whether you get the two-pack version, the standard release, the Karatomi version... I definitely do think it's worth your while to try to hunt one of these things down. Now, obviously, don't go um, hunting one down for an outrageous price or anything. Uh, but if you find one for a reasonable um, reasonable cost, yeah, I definitely do think it's worth um, trying to get your hands on. Because it's just a fun figure. There's nothing overly complicated about it. It's fun to walk through the transformation. I can't tell you how many times I've transformed this thing. Uh, in between gun mode and robot mode uh, before this review. It's just so much fun. And as you can see, it doesn't take you long. It's really, quite frankly, a good figure all around. Um, there we go. Uh, really a good figure all around. Granted, it's not perfect. It does have its oddities, but really a cool figure to look into getting so i definitely recommend this one uh, if you can find it for a reasonable price but guys that's all for me i hope you all enjoyed this video if so be sure to leave a like comment what you think of classics megatron down in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel but that's all from me i've got to go take care of some heroic nonsense, nonsense.